So on our previous video, we um, were looking at what to do when someone dies. In this video, we are going to go ahead and look at who to tell when someone dies. So click on that link there. Okay, let's start at the top. So who to tell when someone dies. When someone dies, it can be hard to know who you're supposed to tell. So on this page, we will be looking at to tell us, tell other people and organizations and ask us. Now, if your loved one dies unexpectedly, call triple zero. If you were expecting them to die, call their doctor. They will sign a certificate that confirms the death. If they died in aged care at a hospital or in a hospice, you don't need to do anything. The staff will arrange the doctor and tell you how long they can care for the body. Next, we have tell us. Now it's important you tell us when someone has died. You can do this in any of these ways. Call the Older Australians line and say bereavement. Complete and submit the advice of death form. Visit a service centre. Now if you're the parent or nominee of the person who has died, you can upload the form to us. So you've got the, um, the upload link there. Um, we'll share this information across Services Australia to make it easier for you. We can update their Centrelink, Medicare, Child Support and Aged Care records. If you're an Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Australian, we understand some Indigenous communities have traditions and customs for when a loved one passes away. It's important you tell us if you'll be taking part in any in your community. This includes sorry business. We'll make sure there are no unnecessary phone calls, visits and questions from us at this important time. If you have a child support arrangement, you need to tell us if a child or parent in a child support arrangement dies. Before we can contact the other parent, we'll confirm the death with two sources of evidence. You can tell us by either visiting a service centre, there's a link there, or calling us on the Child Support to General, General Inquiries line, and there's a link there for you. Tell other people and organisations. There are other people and organisations that you may also need to tell. To help you identify who you may need to contact, download the Who to Notify checklist um, in PDF form, and then Who to Notify checklist in this other format here. You need to include the following information if you're writing to someone to let them know someone has passed away. Include their full name, family name and given names, other names they went by, date of birth, address, date of death and membership number, client number or account number for bills, banking and utilities. You should also give the person you're writing to your name and contact details and tell them your relationship to the person who died. That way they can contact you if they have any questions. They may ask you to provide a death certificate. If you don't have one, note it on the checklist. It will help you keep track of how many copies you need and who you need to give them to. If someone dies overseas, you need to contact the nearest Australian Embassy High Commission or Consulate if an Australian dies overseas. Smart Traveller can help you understand what consular staff in Australia and overseas can do to assist during this difficult time. Find out what happens when an Australian has died overseas on the Smart Traveller website. So you've got a link there for Australians who have died overseas. You can also call us on our international line for help and support. Again, the link there. If they're on a mailing list, you can register to stop companies sending mail to the address of the person who has died. And you can do this via the Association for Data Driven Marketing with the link there and advertising website or write to ADMA GPO Box 3895 Sydney, New South Wales 2001. If they have online accounts, mobile apps and social media. 
Don't forget to close their online accounts, mobile apps and social media too. These are just some of the accounts they might have. Financial institutions if they're not on the will or lease. Email accounts, cloud storage accounts, social media accounts like Facebook and Instagram, online payment processing accounts like PayPal, MyGov, Medicare or a Centrelink online account. You will need to contact the company. They may give you access to the person's accounts so you can view information, download images you or other people want to keep, um, close the account. Now ask us. You may need details from us to finalize the estate of someone who has died. We can give it to you once we have. Proof that you have the authority to act on the deceased person's estate. A completed ex executor administrator request for information form. So there's the link to the form there. Then we can give this information to the executor as named in the will, the public trustee, a court, the administrator of the estate. Okay, so we have gone through um, this section here, to who to tell when someone dies and our next um, section that we will cover will be what help there is when an adult dies. So if you click on the link above, it will take you to our next video.